Hi there, thanks for joining us for this tutorial video on Verifile. Verifile offers you the ability to collect payments from your clients inside of Verifile. And this video is going to show you how to set that up and what your client will see when they receive your request for them to send you a payment. So let's go ahead and jump right into my Verifile system. Okay, you can see my home screen here. I've got my contacts on the left, my workspaces on the right. The first thing I want to do is set up this feature for myself inside my account settings page. So I'm going to go up to the upper right hand corner of the screen, click my name, and then click account settings. Now I scroll down and I can see that request payments is disabled. So I want to click show details so that I can begin to set up this new feature. There's a small video here which you can watch, which will show you exactly what you're watching now. If I click proceed, it will now allow me to set myself up as a merchant so that I can collect payments without leaving Verifile. So I'll go ahead and click continue. And then I've got a little CAPTCHA here to solve. So I'll go ahead and solve it. Hopefully I can do it the first time. Okay, now it's asking me to create a password for my merchant account here. Keep in mind that this password is separate from your Verifile password. Then I click continue. Now I'm being asked to add my mobile number to this account. That way they can send me text messages for security reasons in case I lose my password or I need to get into my account some other way. So I'm gonna go ahead and give them my mobile number. Click send text. Now it's asking me for the code for my device, which I will get. I'll now enter that six digit code. What they're showing you here is your emergency backup code. This is a way for you to get into your merchant account, even if your device is lost or stolen. So you're gonna to wanna to copy this code and save it somewhere. I'm gonna click copy. And then I'm going to go ahead and paste this code into another document that I'll keep secure on my computer. This isn't mandatory, but it will definitely be helpful for you if you ever lose your password or if you get locked out of your account for any other reason. Now I'll click Next. Now I'm going to be asked a few questions about my business. So I need to choose the answers that correspond to my business. My business is in the United States, so I'll leave this one as is. And my business is an individual business, so I'll leave this one as well. Then I'll click Continue. Now I have to enter some personal details. and then click continue. The next thing I need to do is choose which industry my business is in. So I'm gonna click this drop down menu to find my industry. For the purpose of this demo, I'm just gonna use software because that's the business Verifile is in. But you should scroll down until you find the option that's most relevant for you. Then I enter my website address. Then I'll enter a quick description of what we do here. You'll want to enter a description of your own business in this area and then click continue. Now I need to enter the information about my bank. This is basically where my payments will go when they are sent to me by my clients. So for the purpose of this demo, I'm just going to use a test account, but you'll want to enter the actual details of your bank account on this screen. Now I click continue, and I just need to verify a few final things.
The next thing I need to do is to show my ID. This is just to make sure that my identification is verified for my merchant account. I'm going to go ahead and use a test document in this case, but you'll want to upload an actual picture of your ID. And now I want to review the details I've provided to make sure they're correct. Scrolling down, everything looks right, so I'm going to click Agree and Submit. And that's it for the setup process. It's extremely simple. Okay, now that my merchant account is set up, I'd like to show you exactly how you would send an invoice to one of your contacts for them to pay inside Verify. I'm going to go ahead and choose my contact Dean Herman from my list of contacts here. I performed some tax preparation services for Dean a few months ago, and I want to invoice him for those services right now. So I'm going to click his name. Now you can see up here in the right hand corner, there's a request payment button. I'm going to click that request payment button so that Dean can get an invoice to pay me for those services. So I can enter a description here. So I'll type tax prep services so Dean knows why he's being invoiced. And I need to enter an amount, $500. And instead of giving Dean just 14 days to pay, I'm going to give him 30 days to pay this invoice. So I'll change that 14 to 30 and then click Next. Now I'm going to review the details of this invoice that I'll be sending to Dean. Everything looks great to me. So I'll click Request Payment. And now you can see the invoice is here inside the thread send area, but it hasn't been sent yet. This gives me one last chance to cancel the invoice if I think maybe the amount is wrong or if I need to cancel it for some other reason. But everything looks great to me, so I'm going to go ahead and click Send. Now you can see an invoice for $500 has been sent to Dean Herman for tax prep services, and that payment has been requested. Now I'd like to show you exactly what Dean sees on his end when he goes to pay the invoice that I sent him. So now I'm going to go ahead and switch to Dean. Now I'm looking at Dean's email inbox, and you can see that Dean's received an email telling him that a request has been made for him to make a payment inside Verifile. So I'm Dean, I'm going to go ahead and open that email. And now I can see the details here. Dean, Verifile Tutorial has sent you an invoice called Tax Prep Services, and you can see the amount of the invoice here, $500. So Dean can choose to either click here to view the invoice in Verifile, or he can just click right here to pay the invoice directly. Dean knows that I prepared his taxes, so he doesn't need to see the invoice. So he's just going to click here to pay the invoice. So now here's the invoice for Dean, $500, due on December 31st. If he wants, he can click here to see the payment details. Now Dean gets to choose how he wants to pay. So this is where Dean will enter his credit card number. Expiration date. CVC code. And a zip code. Now, if Dean wanted to, he could have checked this box so that he wouldn't have to enter this information every time he made a payment to me. So now I'll click Pay 500. And that's it. It's that simple. Dean has paid this invoice for $500 that I sent him for tax preparation services. And if Dean wants, he can download the invoice or download a receipt for this invoice right here from this screen. Now I'd like to show you what it looks like from my perspective after Dean has paid the invoice that I sent him. Okay, when I go back to my system, I can see that payment has been received for the $500 invoice that I sent to Dean. And that money has been deposited directly into the bank account that I used when I set up my merchant account. So it's really quite simple for people to send and receive payments and verify them. One final thing I'd like to show you 
is that if you click your name in the upper right corner of the screen, you can see you've got an invoice history option here. And if you click that option, you can see all of the invoices you've ever sent and their status. So you can see this invoice has been paid, but if it hadn't been paid, it would say pending. And if it had been an invoice that you refunded, it would say refunded here. So this is a list that summarizes the status of all of your invoices, both those you've submitted for payment and those you've received. And that's it. It's really quite simple to send and receive payments in Verify. Thanks for watching this video.